Hello, and welcome to Fast Bring IQ, or Interactive Quotes. I'm Allie, and today I'm going to show you how to get started with IQ. Whether you're looking to use our interactive elements to better explain your pricing, create a modernized sales proposal, or you're looking for a CPQ alternative, IQ is a very powerful tool that will surely help you sell faster and better. For today's video, I'll be giving you a tour of the platform in order to properly set up your account and create your first quote. After that, I'll be sharing some tips on using the quote editor for a much better experience with IQ. So let's go ahead and get started. So when you land in the app for the first time, this is the page that you will see. It's called My Quotes. As you can see, no quotes exist yet on this account. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is create a quote. Um, before we do that, just to orient you with the application, in the left hand side here, you see the menu. Um, the whole first section is where you will manage your quotes. Um, this manage section is where you can set up templates, quote templates, uh, manage your clients and companies associated with them. You can manage discounts that you want to be able to offer on your quotes, and you can set up tags. Um, and then down here in settings, this is where you'll really set up and customize your account. You can add a photo for your account, which will show on your quotes. You can customize your personal information. Um, this thank you message is customizable and will be what is displayed when somebody accepts one of your quotes. And then you can customize your email notifications here. Up down here in the company section, this is where you can customize kind of what your quotes look and feel like. So you can customize your branding, add a new logo. This logo will be displayed on the quotes that you send to your prospects. You can actually set up your quote defaults to a different color. So you can customize these for your brand colors. You can set your default currency. Um, you can see we support a wide range of currencies here. Um, so you can quote in the currency that is most convenient for your prospect. Um, and you can add a website URL to be displayed on your quotes as well. So that's account setup. Um, down here in team, this is where you can add additional users. So you can add colleagues. Um, on the free version, you get up to two seats, up to two users. And then over here in integrations, this is where you can set up your integrations and really integrate IQ with the rest of your tech stack. Um, out of the box, we have a fast spring checkout integration, a HubSpot integration, and a Drift integration. Uh, we also offer a Salesforce integration on our paid plan. All right, so let's go ahead and create our first quote. The first thing that you're going to do is hit this create quote button. And you can see that I have the option to create a quote from one of our existing templates. The templates that come with your account are Fastbring created for common use cases. Um, these are really just intended to help you get started. So um, I'm going to start from this good, better, best template. If I want to preview it really quickly and make sure that this is the right template for me, I can click on that and see what it might look like. Yes, this is aligned with my business. I'm going to create a quote from this template. When you create a quote from a template, um, you land on this quote creator, quote editor, and you have the ability to customize whatever you want to customize about this quote. Um, you can change the name of the quote, you can change the currency, you can add tags. If you're using one of our CRM integrations, you can associate the quote with a deal in your CRM. Um, this is where you add information about your client. Um, so I'll say, Company B, create, and we'll choose Bob Smith as our recipient for this quote. Um, here's where you set up your e-signature. So this is all out of the box. You get full e-signature capabilities. Um, you can choose whether you want signature to be required in order to accept the quote, and you can choose who you want to be able to sign the quote. Um, unnamed signer means that other people who you might not anticipate needing to sign the quote can sign the quote and they'll just add their information when they do sign the quote. So that's if Bob Smith has a colleague that he needs to review the quote as well. Um, here's where you add a personal note to the client. And this can be whatever you want it to be. You can also configure terms of service and this can either link out to generic terms on your website or you can add custom terms via text block. Here under security, you can set the quote to expire. You can limit the number of visits that are allowed to the quote and you can password protect it. 
For the call to action button, this is where you determine what you want to happen when somebody accepts your quote. Do you want to show them a thank you message? Do you want to redirect them to a URL, whether that's on your website or a landing page or a sign-up link? Or if you're using the FastBring integration, you can actually configure it so they can purchase the product, purchase the sub subscription directly from the quote. So pricing tiers, this is where you set up your tiers. So the different flavors of product that you have, um, there's a, a lot of different ways that you can actually use tiers. You could set it up so that you have a monthly tier and an annual tier or your standard pricing tier and your discounted pricing tier that you're offering just special for this specific prospect. Um, so a lot of different ways that you can use tiers, but the most common probably being for the SaaS use case, like the gold, silver, bronze, or good, better, best. Um, so within tiers, you set up what you want it to be called, how much it costs, how it's charged, um, and then you can set out a description for it. You can also choose which one you want to be pre-selected and you can add some little call out text to it as well. So I have call out text on the gold tier and I have it pre-selected. Under features, these are the features associated with your tiers. So this is how you can show what you're gonna get within each of these tiers. So to better illustrate how that will actually look to your prospect, um, let's switch on over to preview mode, which is a really handy tool for configuring your first quote is to be able to toggle back and forth between preview mode and edit mode. So I can see all of my progress so far in the quote editor. And I can also see, oh, this is how features are displayed. Um, you can also click on see all features and see a little table here of your tiers and the features associated with each of those tiers. Um, so now that I have a good understanding of how this is going to be displayed for my prospect, I can actually switch back to the editor mode, um, go back down to pricing tiers and further configure this and customize it. Another handy tool for configuring your first quote or your first couple quotes is to open the preview mode in a new tab. And this makes it really easy to switch back and forth between the editor and the preview mode. So I can make a change here in the editor. And then I can head on over to this preview mode and I can see that change immediately updated in preview. If I go into my pricing tiers and I'm wondering what is a call out? What happens when I change this? Um, so let's try it. Preferred plan. And we'll jump on over to our preview mode. And you can see that it will automatically update in the preview mode. So I can really easily see how the changes that I'm making will actually be displayed on the quote. That's pricing tiers and features. And if we scroll down to this last section here, we have our components. Components are really where you set up your products and add-ons that are not contained within your base tiers. Um, if we flip on over to preview mode, I think the best way to describe what components are is to be able to see what they will look like on the quote. So this here is a component. It is in this case being used to display per seat pricing. Um, the prospect will have the ability to slide this slider and change the number of seats that they are quoting and see how that impacts their overall cost. Down here under additional services, these are also components, just different types of components. Um, so here I can add optional add-ons. Um, I can configure what type of support I want. And this is all customizable by you within the quote editor. When you go to add a component, you'll see all the different types of components that we support. So we even have video block components, text block components. There's a lot that you can do with these types of components. If we go on over to our preview mode, you can see um, this here is a text component and this here is obviously a video component. So you can really build out a full customized proposal really if you want to. So there are lots of different types of components here and you're just, you're gonna wanna choose the one that's best for you based on how you price your products. So when you have configured your first quote and everything looks good in preview mode, that's when you're gonna go ahead and publish your quote. Once your quote is published, you can copy the published link and this is what you're going to send to your prospect. 
When your prospect clicks on that link, whether you're sending it to them in a separate email or you can even use our in-app functionality to actually send the quote, but when they do click on that link, this is exactly what they're going to see. You can see it's very similar to what you were seeing in preview mode. They will have the ability, now that they're on the live quote, to toggle the seats, add products that they're interested in, and ultimately when they get to a place where they are comfortable with the package that they've configured, they will sign the quote um, and accept it, and you will receive a notification of that. Um, so let's say that this specific prospect is taking a long time to accept the quote. I can actually get a lot of information about what it is that they're thinking by just clicking on this quote and looking at the analytics that IQ provides. So here I can see who's visited the quote, how many times they've visited it, how they're modifying the quote and interacting with it, which products they're interested in, which products are most important to them. I can see if they're sharing it with other colleagues in different locations. I can see how long they're spending on the quote. So really I can get a lot of information about what they're thinking, what the prospect is thinking and their likelihood to accept the quote. So I can use this information to make sure that I'm making educated and informed follow-ups with this prospect. One other thing worth mentioning is that the analytics will exclude internal interactions with the quote. What I mean by that is if you are viewing your own published quote, the tool is smart enough to know that you're not the prospect and we will filter out your visits to the quote here. So you're truly only seeing the prospect's interactions with the quote. Okay, so when the prospect is ready to accept and sign the quote, what they will do is they'll review their pricing estimate and they'll say, yep, this looks great. Um, I am ready to sign. If I am Bob Smith, I'll click on Bob Smith and all of my information will be auto-filled and I'll be able to just complete my signature here, which is great. If I'm not Bob Smith, maybe I'm Bob Smith's boss, I can say I'm not on this list and I can add myself to this list and sign that way. So super easy to add additional signers who you might not anticipate need to sign the quote. I'm gonna sign here as Bob Smith, confirm. So the document has now been signed. A confirmation email will be sent to the customer at the email provided. And as soon as everybody has signed the quote who is required to sign the quote, which in this case, it's just Bob Smith, uh, an audit trail of the quote will be sent via email to everybody involved. So once somebody has signed this quote, whether it's your only signer or one of many, you can see that the pricing has now been locked. So there's no longer any ability to interact with this quote. The pricing has been locked and we're just waiting for signatures. And if we go back to this quote in our quotes list, we can see that it has been signed. Um, and if we click into it, we can see who's provided a signature. We can, we can download an audit trail of the quote, which is a PDF record of the terms that were agreed upon. It looks a little bit like this. This audit trail is also sent to everybody who signed via email. And that's it. It's that easy to create your first quote within IQ. And once you have nailed your pricing within IQ and it's well represented within a quote here, you can really easily duplicate these quotes for additional prospects. If you need additional help getting started, there's a ton of great information in our help center here, right here in the app. Um, so you can see how to create a quote, how to publish your first quote. And then if you aren't getting what you need here within the app, you can always head on over to our documentation, which has a ton of detail um, and a ton of information about being successful with IQ. So keep an eye out for more demo videos from us. And if you want additional information, please head over to fastspring.com slash IQ. Thank you.